morning well it's morning in my zone wherever you are whatever time it is same to you all right so my name is veronica philip welcome to my channel so in 20 now august of 2023 now we are in um 2024 i think it's today is the eighth day of 2024 i was diagnosed with diabetes oh my goodness i was shocked i was like what no way even my kids said to me mommy how could that be you ate so healthy <laughs> i really thought i did i really thought i ate healthy but I was wrong, so wrong. I didn't eat a meal without vegetables. I drank a lot of water. I balanced my meal, you know, balance. Some days I would have potatoes, another time rice. Sometimes I didn't even eat any carbohydrate per se. I would basically have the vegetables and the meat. I love eating meat. <laughs> so once I had I had a doctor, right? Um, she's a um, what you call them? The eye doctor. I forgot what. Uh, okay. So she um, she said to me, "You have a small, small cataract, but." You know, you don't need, you wouldn't need any treatment for that, maybe in 20 years down the line. And if you never want to have a, any treatment for it, all you have to do is eat more protein, high protein. But <laughs> I didn't listen to her because um, I heard that eating like beef and eggs was bad for us so i kind of ate mostly um turkey chicken and um i would maybe go on the lean side of it um i didn't even eat like say oxtail because oxtail had a lot of fat boy boy was i wrong but the only thing that i'm guilty of about my journey or why I got diabetes is I drank a lot of tea like for many years <laughs> I was like a British girl but doing the tea in the wrong way I suffered from um, sinusitis and allergies year wrong allergies so my sinuses would drain and into my chest especially at night time when i'm laying down i would gag so i had i slept with a candy in my mouth like ginger or mint in my mouth and then i would drink like a cup of tea or two before bedtime with lots of honey and maybe for the day when i had the chance i would maybe consume five cups of tea with honey and that was a mistake they say honey is good for you and honey is um will help you with your allergies and so forth and um but that never helped me never helped me so i was so disappointed <laughs> by <laughs> by my own actions that i poisoned myself so um i started out on that journey to um fight and to um get my a1c down i was um my A1C was 7.2 when I was diagnosed, 
right now i don't know what it is right now but i'm sure based on my glucose reading based on my yeah glucose reading i am sure that it's um although when i was diagnosed my doc the doctor said to me but you know your glucose um reading is not high but your a1c is high but she never like educated me or explained to me the reason why so i was questioning it um why is that you know so she's like the first first time i took my glucose um um what do you call it again i took my uh glucose yeah i test my glucose it said 96 and i was not even on medication yet it says 96 so i um was wondering why would it be 96 isn't the 96 normal um yeah so the doctor um prescribed metformin and um high blood pressure my pressure was like 44 something over 80 and she said that was too high but at that time i was going through a lot um i uh, just had uh, my husband was in the hospital for six months and um then he died and um so i was going through a lot of stress at the time so um, my daughter said to me mom you shouldn't take this damn metformin this medication and i don't even think you 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 are sick um so you shouldn't take this medication you know my daughter is in the science field so she said that you shouldn't take this medication so i say why she said you know the side effect and um, it's not going to make you better. You're not going to get better if you are diabetic. It's just going to make you worse and give you all other type of symptoms and other diseases. So I agreed. So I, I took the prescription. I studied... <laughs> She, so the metformin she gave me was 500 milligrams. Um, so I, I had to take it once a day. And then, uh, um, and then she gave me something to prevent kidney damage. I got scared. Why do I have to take a medicine to prevent kidney damage when you're giving me a medication for, um, to you know, cure diabetes, and then I have to take something. But I <laughs> I was a little bit curious. So I took that metformin anyway for one week, and I was so sick. I stayed in bed. I was weak. I thought I was going to die from taking that medication. And uh, my daughter was mad at me and she said, you're going to stop taking this. And she said, uh, she came to my house and she said, I want to see this medication. And she just threw them in the toilet. <laughs> and then after the second week, I started regaining my strength. And um, I started doing a lot of research. And I remember what the doctor told me a long time ago about the cataract. And, um, hey, so the rest, I'll tell you in my next, um, episode, stay tuned, okay, what I did and how I'm doing it, all right, so you have a blessed day, I thank you for watching, and please, don't forget to like share and subscribe have a blessed day